in this video we are going to see on successful insta mojo payments how can you add subscribers to active campaign using pably connect so here every time a new sale happens in insta mojo which is a payment gateway then automatically with the information received the user who has made the payment so the information is there now you are adding that user as a subscriber in active campaign which is an email marketing tool now how can that happen for this you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using pably connect software so here your trigger application will be insta mojo and your action application will be active campaign now how can you do this yourself integrate and automate this entire process to understand that let me take you to my screen to begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pably.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in and as I do that, here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pably Connect. And here we have reached a dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that every time a successful payment is made through InstaMojo, then automatically the user must be added as a subscriber in active campaign. So I'm going to name it as InstaMojo to active campaign using Pably Connect. Let's click on create. And as we do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens. Action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger application. Now, as per this integration, my trigger application will be Insta Mojo. Let's click on this. And the trigger event here would be new sale. Now, here you can see that we have received a webhook URL, which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pably Connect with Insta Mojo. I'm going to copy this and then we have to follow the following steps. So I have already logged into my Insta Mojo account. Let me take you there. Now here I'm going to take you to smart pages. So here I have created a smart page for all my products. You can create your own page by clicking on this plus icon. Let me show you. So let's say that it is MS Office language. I'm going to click on the three dots. Click on edit page. Now here you can see that the entire page is customizable. So this is the title. If you wish to put a header, you can do that cover image or video. Then we have the page theme appearance. So here the pricing options are there. And then we have the payment button. And then as I take you down here, we have the page settings. So within these, this page settings, we have add webhook. I'm going to delete this previous webhook and add the one that we have just copied. Then again, we have got the page URL settings and post purchase add-ons, etc. Now I'm going to simply click on save and update. Yes, save and update. And once this is done, this basically means that the webhook has been placed successfully. Now what we are supposed to do here is we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded in here in the webhook response. So I'm going to take you back to InstaMojo, go back to the same product. Let's share the page. Here we have received the link. I'm going to copy this and open this in a new incognito window. Let's paste this. And here is the page. Now I'm going to click on pay now. Let's say the first name here is test. The last name is user. Then the email address is test user at pablytutes.com. And here is the mobile number. Let's click on pay. As we do that here, you can see that we have received the QR code and now I'm going to quickly make the payment. And here you can see that the payment has been successful. Going back here, I'm going to close this. Let's go to Pably Connect and you can see that we have received the response where the payment status is a success. This is the payment ID, then the currency is INR. This is the time and date of completion of payment. Then we have the amount. Then we have the page ID here. We have the product name, then the pricing type, and then we have the name, email address, and mobile number of the user. 
once we have received this now what is my objective that every time the payment is successful then this particular user should be added as a subscriber in active campaign so now here i'm going to choose my next action application which is a feature by pably filter and here i'm going to put a filter on the payment status which is success so if this is equal to success then only this workflow should continue. So let's click on save and send test request. Here you can see that the condition is true. Now we are going to add another action step. Here the application will be active campaign. Let's click on this. And the event would be create a contact. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the active campaign account. I'm going to select add new connection. Now to set up this connection, we need the API key and the URL. I have already logged into my active campaign account. Let me take you there. Here we have to go to settings. And then within settings, you can see developer on the left hand side. Let's click on this. And here is your URL and the key. So I'm going to copy the URL, go back to public connect, paste this over here. Then again, I'm going to copy the key and paste this over here. Once done, let's click on save to set up this connection. And here you can see active campaign and public connect are now connected. Now we are supposed to map this information. What is mapping? Mapping means that I already have this information in the previous step and I'm just going to retrieve it here. And why is it important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. How do I do it? So as I click on this, you can see the previous step and here is the email address. So this is the process of mapping. Now here we are asked to fill in the first name and last name, but we had received the complete name. So now to split the name, I'm going to use another action step, which is a feature by Pabli text formato. Here it is. And the action event here would be to split text. Let's click on connect. Now, what is the text that I wish to split the name? So here is the name. And then we have to add the separator, which is space. So the space between the two values is our separator. This is how we have to write it. And which segment do I want? I want both the segments. So I'm going to select all. Let's click on save and send test request. And here we have received the individual values. Now I'm going to quickly refresh this connection by selecting the existing connection and let's map the first name by going to step three. This is the first name for the last name. Let's go to step three once again. This is the last name and for phone number, I'm going to go to step one and here is the phone number. Let's click on save and send test request. And here you can see that we have received the API response according to which this user must be created as a subscriber in active campaign. Let me take you to active campaign. Let's go to contacts. And here you can see dear dummy, this particular user has been just created. This basically means that our integration is a success, but we also need to check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to InstaMojo. Let's quickly share the page, copy the link open this in a new incognito window paste it over here and now i'm going to make the payment let's say the first name here is smart the last name is user then we have the email address which is smart user at pablytutes.com and then we have the mobile number let's click on pay and here you can see that we have received the qr code and now i'm going to quickly make the payment and here you can see that the payment has been successful once this is done let's go back to active campaign what should happen automatically the subscriber must be created i'm going to refresh this page and here you can see smart user is now a part of my active campaign and it is added as a new subscriber so this basically means that our integration is a success now i'm going to take you back to public connect to understand what we have done so here our trigger application was insta mojo where the event was new sale then our action application first was a feature by pably which is filter to make sure that this workflow continues only when the payment is a success. Then we had chosen our action application as active campaign where we had to create a contact and to split the name, we had chosen a feature by Pabli which was text formatter. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us.
Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.